What is going on everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco here from Data Dive and in today's video I'm going to answer a very common question which is how and when to utilize outlier keywords. Now the thing to understand about outlier keywords is these are keywords that have high search volume but low relevancy. And the way that Datadive calculates relevancy, it's super simple. It's really just a percentage out of all of the competitors that you've included in your dive, what percentage of these sellers are ranked on page one or in the top 45 positions for that keyword. So if the relevancy is very low, what that simply means is that usually only one or two competitors are utilizing or ranking for these keywords. Now, what this can mean with outlier keywords, sometimes these can be golden nuggets, right? Different ways that people search for the product that nobody had ever thought of, except for maybe one or two people in your niche. The other possibility with outlier keywords is that they're not golden nuggets, but in fact, they are very broad keywords, very general keywords. So let's take a look here over at the outlier keywords tab. And so what you're gonna wanna do with outlier keywords is you're gonna wanna look through the list and you're gonna to wanna to keep looking until you see, oh my goodness, there's something that's really good. Let me add it back into my master keyword list. The point that I wanna make about outlier keywords is it really depends on what position you are in in your selling journey, right? If you're this seller over here where you're ranked on page one for 99% of the keywords, this is totally fine to say, look, I'm already dominating my MKL. Let's go see what else is out there. Let's see if there's some more general or maybe even less relevant keywords that we can improve our organic rankings for. The thing that I would caution you against is let's say you're this brand here, which is Crep Protect. Instead of being ranked on page one for 99% of the keywords in the MKL, they're only ranked on page one for 13% of the keywords in the MKL. And some really important, what should be priority keywords, they're not indexed for at all. Things like shoe cleaner, sneaker cleaner. So while I could go over to the outlier keywords tab and add a bunch in here, before I even wanna think about doing that, I wanna solidify and establish my ranks for these large major keyword gaps. So that's the real thing that I want you to think about when it comes to outlier keywords. Let me start off and go through some of the technical sides of how to use the outlier keywords tab. As you can see here, it's showing us that we have 53 outlier keywords, right? You can see all of these different ones here. Now, if you ever are in a niche and you're only getting a few number of outlier keywords, keep in mind that the minimum search volume by default is set to be 2000. So if I would drop this, for example, down to 150, I'm gonna go from having 53 outlier keywords to a lot more than 53. Let's check it out here. Let's see how many we get. I went from having 53 outlier keywords to having 1.1 thousand outlier keywords, right? So it's bringing in a whole bunch more now. Now, if you do happen to see a outlier keyword that is gonna work or you think, hey, this is a slam dunk, you just click the checkbox, you click include in MKL, and then when you go over to your master keyword list, you're gonna see this now show up as an outlier keyword. Again, what I wanna reiterate is that unless you're already really dominating your niche, before moving on to outlier keywords, I would focus on those primary keywords that have the highest search volume where you have the biggest gaps. Once you've plugged all of those holes and you feel like you've got the core base of your master keyword list covered, you're covering all of the main routes and your rankings are where they should be for that, that's when I'm gonna say, okay, now I can go over to outlier keywords and start to focus on those more broad, those more general terms. I hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next one.